Have you ever thought what was happening in your brain when you were receiving oral information in a language different from yours? That's the core of my research, listening, a complex and invisible skill occurring in our brain, crucial to learn a language. However, listening instruction in the language classroom is frequently neglected and taken for granted. Consequently, learners often struggle when listening, which not always is achieved, as this analogy shows. The good news is that teaching listening strategies has shown to be fruitful and that more exposure to comprehensible and enjoyable text is suggested as a better approach. But it lacks how. And recently, teaching listening from text is proposed based on the positive findings identified in writing and reading skills. Thus, is here where my research comes in, to study listening from oral narrative texts. Just to illustrate, if I say, once upon a time, I'm pretty sure you know what's coming next. That's what my students learn. The language use, the structure, and the purpose convey in context. So I answer, how do second language learners listen after having received instruction from oral narrative texts, and what is its impact on learners' listening skills? To that end, two groups of learners of English at a Mexican university listened and completed a task. They listened to a film plot narrated in everyday English. Then I interviewed them using the text, the task, and the recorder at their hands to stimulate their thoughts and to know what was happening in their brain while they were listening. I compared them before and after an experiment. The experimental group received instruction from oral narrative text, while the control one exposure to regular class hours. And now you listen to some findings so far. At the beginning, some learners listening stirred their imagination. They used prior knowledge, such as experiences stored in their mind, which match with the information received to contextualize the situation. Surprisingly, they criticized how the language was used, but at the same time, they were engaged in it. In both occasions, learners listen and use different strategies in a dynamic way. But at the end, the experimental learners not only listen for whole chunks of information and the purpose convey, but raise their interest in listening and communicating beyond the classroom more than the control group did. Thus, teaching listening from text can help us understand the listening ability, and learners know how to listen purposefully in different contexts and situations. Finally, do you know how to listen? Thank you for listening. <laughs>